Hi, today I'd like to talk about the benefits of having a virtual company. And you know, I spent many years working in corporate America and in the early days we always went into an office. And then in later years, when things in some cases became a little bit tight because of the economy, that a lot of these companies decided to go virtual, or at least partially virtual. And they would have people either um, hotel in an office if they needed to come in and have some space, but they wouldn't have an assigned desk. Um, or else in some cities, they just closed the office completely and had everyone work from home. And what they found was not only obvious reductions in cost, but great increases in productivity and being able to retain really amazing professionals who perhaps for one reason or another found it difficult to work full time in an office setting. And so when I started Zen Change, I initially opened an office because I thought I should. And it was funny because I was never in it. I thought this is such a waste. I'm spending more of my time on client site and I'm spending time on, on phone calls and you know I really prefer working from home. So I ended up giving up the office and all of our team members, uh, whether they're in Miami or elsewhere, they all work virtually as well. And the research shows that um, if you are thinking of going virtual, to consider strongly going 100% virtual because sometimes the people who are working remotely in a setting where some people are in an office can feel a little bit left out of some of the impromptu conversations. But what we find is because we have such great tools to keep on top of our tasks and because everyone is working virtually that we have a level playing field. And as a result, uh, the team is really productive and, uh, and we are able to attract and retain really amazing professionals as our team members. So if you're thinking about taking your business virtual, whether it's to save money or to increase productivity or to attract or retain great people, try it on a Friday. Start with virtual Fridays and see how you do. I think you'll probably be pleasantly surprised and decide that you want to take the business entirely virtual. And when you do, you can even bring the dog. That's my marketing tip for today.